Welcome to another video from Lockdown Electronics with me Bill and this time we've got something a little bit different I've recently purchased this contraption which is a, a Unity UT210A clamp meter and it's a current only meter so some of the clamp meters I know uh, also have other functions but this is current only and what interested me in this one is that it has a 2 amp range and I wanted to get some uh, hopefully reasonably accurate measurements of the current being drawn by some of the um, some of the stuff that I'm working on. Um, I've also got a cheap and nasty clamp meter which I've had for a while. It's one I bought to just keep in a vehicle. Um, so I've uh, measured um, the AC current with this one as well, just for a bit of a comparison. And this was um, just under 10. UK pounds and for what it is it's actually alright um, and seems to do the job okay. The Unity was twice that price, 20, 20 pounds uh, off eBay and it really does feel a much more solid item, feels a lot better made um, and uh, anyway seems to work okay. So um, method I used um, which you can see in this picture here is to set up both uh, clamp meters so they were reading the AC voltage um, from a single wire. Uh, I'd got the uh, circuit passing through my Fluke uh, mul uh, 23 series 2 multimeter which will measure AC current to 10 amps. I've got a, a 50 watt um, 20 ohm resistor as the load and I was supplying the AC voltage from uh, the Variac with current limiting and isolation so um, uh, although it appears um, a slightly risky operation in reality the voltage never got above about, about 20 volts and uh, I was extremely careful to, um, to, to watch what I was doing when I was doing the measurements in fact once I started the only control I touched was the, um, the control on the Variac and I could just read the um, measurements um, without having to worry about um, touching anything. So if you're thinking of trying this yourself um, the disclaimer obviously is please be careful and if you do you do it at your own risk. Okay let's um, let's have a look at the results that we got. Okay so here's the results from uh, from the measurements and uh, I ran current in from point 0.1 up to 0.9 amps and at 0.9 amps the current limiting had started to cut in so uh, I didn't uh, I didn't try to go beyond that but, but this is the range I was most interested in um, as I say gone up in 0.1 amp increments and this is the uh, unity measurements um, and as you can see without boring you with all the numbers um, reasonably accurate um, the claimed accuracy is, is about 4% in this range. Um, the only place it appeared to deviate from that was the very first measurement where it's minus six percent. Obviously I don't know how uh, accurate the fluke is so they're not um, it's not measurements made it against a calibrated standard um, but I'm more than happy with um, what I was getting and in general it tracks fairly close and in fact it agrees at uh, 0.6 amps. Um, the MT87 uh, which is the cheap and cheerful blue one I also showed you. I've got the results here. Um, I have to bear in mind with these results, although it appears to be, you know, in this case 20, 10, 13, 11% out, I have to bear in mind that doesn't have a 2 amp range, it's on the 20 amp range and when I flicked the uh, Unity onto the 20 amp range um, the, the figures were um, certainly different, Not maybe not that far out but they were certainly not as good as that. So I think that justifies my um, purchase in the sense that having the 2 amp range is very good. It gives me the kind of accuracy that I'm wanting. And the graph here, uh, the dot, black dotted line is the um, straight line from the um, 9 measurements of the fluke. The red line is what the UT2100 uh, came up with, which is pretty good. And the green line is the MT87. So... Um, Starting to diverge a little bit there, but the UDT in general um, tracks the um, tracks the current uh, reasonably well. So uh, yeah, I'm pleased with the um, Unity 
uh, clamp meter it seems um, fine and the little blue clamp meter um, lives in a vehicle and is just handy if I need to make a measurement so both are okay um, I'd certainly be more than happy to to recommend this uh, little beast it um, seems to do the job so um, I've got a, something else on order from uh, from China that also measures current so when that arrives I'll maybe com compare the two um, but there you go okay well that's it for my little review of these two little um, cheap and cheerful clamp meters um, even the £10 one off eBay um, is, is perfectly alright uh, this one's definitely a notch above but it was twice the price um, but for, for cheap instruments yeah they're fine and um, seem okay so there we go um, if you've liked the video click the thumbs up if not click the thumbs down um, either way um, clicking on one of those buttons helps me It'd be great if you could uh, subscribe and hopefully there'll be more interesting stuff along the way for you to um, to enjoy thanks very much for watching